Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out, time out. I wasn't ready for this. To the basement, to the basement, to the basement. We've got some pacing to do. To the basement, to the basement, to the basement of death. Darkness, to the basement, to the basement. Where my jersey at, man? Where my jersey at? I know the Ravens just, oh, okay, okay. We got some words to talk about, man. We got some things to talk about. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Where do I even start? Uh... I'm surprised this happened. I am actually surprised this happened. You guys know my 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 whole... I, I've expressed this. You know my standpoint in this entire situation. Um, I spoke on free agency, and I talked about how I did not expect the Ravens to sign a receiver via free agency. I did not say they weren't going to. I just said it wasn't within my expectations just because... This is usually kind of how the situation always rolls for the Ravens. I didn't expect them to get one, but I did. I wouldn't be surprised. I spoke this. I didn't expect them to get a receiver via free, via signing, but I wasn't 100% against it, nor did I say it wasn't going to happen. I had my hopes, obviously, but I wasn't going to put my hopes up high the way everyone else is. With Galladay and Juju and, and Marvin Jones and all these other guys, I would have been hopeful and I wanted them on the squad, but I wasn't going to put my expectations there because I had my expectations that the Ravens were going to worry about their offensive line, retain some of their defensive players, and focus on fixing their pass rush. That's kind of where I was. If they would have signed a receiver, hey, I would have loved it, but I it wasn't within my expectations. I told you guys, if they were to have signed a receiver, that's going, you know, a little bit over my expectations because, you know, I didn't see that happening, but... They actually managed to pull it off. The Ravens managed to sign Sammy Watkins on a one-year, $6 million deal with $5 million of that being guaranteed. That's a good deal, man. That's a good deal. You're getting a quality veteran receiver that can come in and produce immediately, and you're only paying him $6 million, bro. That is, that is a really good deal for the Ravens. That's a really good deal. That's a really good deal. And hey, it gives Lamar a legit weapon to throw to that is, you know, has that experience and is a veteran receiver. You know, so, hey. Now, of course, my opinion still stay, stays the same regarding how I believe the Ravens were going to acquire a receiver. I believed the Ravens were going to get a receiver in free agency via trade. And I still think they can do that. I still believe they can trade for a receiver. Again, look at the Orlando Brown situation. If they are going to trade him, they're going to potentially get a receiver out of that trade as well as some draft picks. That's just how I see it. And I still believe that. So that was where my expectation was. Getting the receiver, getting a receiver via trade. That's where I saw it. I never saw them signing one. The signing one would be a bonus for me. So Sammy Watkins getting picked up is seen as a bonus for me, especially with them giving him a, a $6 million contract. That's a bonus. That is definitely a bonus. Now, the funny thing about this whole situation is we knew he had a talk with the Colts. But I, in my opinion, I believe that T.Y. going back to the Colts is a big reason why we got him. Because had T.Y. signed with Baltimore on that three-year deal, that or that multi-year deal, we, they said it was a three-year, $60 million deal. If that is the case, had he signed that deal with Baltimore, the Colts would have signed Sammy Watkins. But since T.Y. Hilton went back to the Colts, Sammy Watkins kind of looked at his other options, couldn't really see anything there, and went back to Baltimore. And of course, with Sammy Watkins, if you really look at it, out of all the receivers, he was actually the one that had, like, the, he was really the best choice. Not in terms like he was the best receiver, but in terms of fit and just situation-wise, he was the best choice for the Ravens. Because just like Juju, he would have fit well in our system, so that's one. Two, he has actually worked in the Greg Roman offense. He has experience in that Greg Roman system because he was in Buffalo in 2015. Well, yeah, yeah, at least in 2015 with Greg Roman when he was running that offense. And in Greg Roman's offense, he put up career numbers. He had over a thousand yards receiving and nine receiving touchdowns. So he was able to produce in Greg Roman's offense way back in Buffalo. So he has experience with Greg Roman and he has had success in his system. And to add on to that, Keith Williams, our passing coordinator, is his personal receiver coach. So you have another person that knows, that, that has worked with you personally as your receiving coach. 
And now he's going to be your passing coordinator and he's going to be working with you closely as well as you going into a system with Greg Roman that you're already used to. So there's not much adjustments you have to make to your game. And you're going to fit in an offense that's, that, that fit pretty much is going to work for you. So like this was really the best fit out of all of the receivers, but it wasn't the best option. However, hey, I'm not going to lie. This, this is better. Uh, this is better than getting Galladay at like 18 million. Would you rather take Sammy Watkins at six million or um, Kenny Galladay at 18 million? I'd take Sammy Watkins at six million because the Ravens were not going to pay one a, a receiver. They were not going to pay a receiver 18 million dollars. No, 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 no. So this is definitely, in my opinion, a good signing by the Ravens. They finally got Lamar, another receiver, a veteran receiver, a legit receiver. I don't know if you could really say he's going to be your number one receiver. Now, he's probably going to be number one. You could consider him our number one receiver, but he's not really a number one receiver. That's just how the situation works. But, yeah, he's uh, he's definitely going to be a huge asset for this offense, and he should fit just right in because he already has experience in Greg Roman's system and has had success there, and he's going to be working alongside Keith Williams, who, again, was his personal receiver coach. So, it works out for Sammy Watkins. He's going to fit just right in, and he's going to be another asset that can definitely help out. Now, of course, I don't think the Ravens are done just yet. I'm still holding on to the thought of a potential trade happening. If they were to trade Orlando Brown, they're going to get a receiver out of that. Obviously, we've had some names. A lot of people recently have definitely been hoping towards DJ Chark. Obviously, people brought up Robinson, a lot of other guys. Um, we'll just see what happens with that. You know, we may just have a scenario where they just don't trade Orlando Brown. And if that doesn't happen or if they don't pull off some sort of trade for a receiver, then they're going to draft one. Anyway, either way, they're probably going to draft one. A lot of people are saying Bateman's the guy that we're going to draft. I, I think they're going to draft a receiver. I just see them looking to draft a receiver. But I don't think they're done in picking up another receiver. They're definitely going to be looking to pull off a trade and pick up another receiver. So that's just how I feel. That's how I believe. We'll see how that goes. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. But yeah, this is um, this is surprising to me. I was not expecting to see this in the slightest. Uh, I, I, you know, I had hopes because it, it just seemed like it was too good to be true for the Ravens and Sammy Watkins to end up, you know, coming to terms with a deal because everything really fits. Everything Baltimore has really fits for what Sammy Watkins can do. Because it's a system that he's used to, a system that he's played in before, and working alongside a passing coordinator that is your own personal receiver coach. Everything seems to fit in perfectly. So it seemed like the best move for the Ravens to make and the best move for Sammy Watkins to make. However, he did leave Baltimore without a deal. And I, I feel that had T.Y. Hilton not gone back to the Colts and instead signed with the Ravens, the Colts probably would have offered him more money and he would have gone to the Colts. I just feel like that's what been would have been the case. But, you know, T.Y. Hilton went back. Colts probably didn't have enough. He reevaluated his options. Didn't see much there and decided, hey, I'm going to go to Baltimore. It's a system I can easily get into with two guys that I've had experience with and know how I play. And I know how they run them systems and how they coach me and stuff like that. So it, it fits for me. It works for me. I'm not surprised. But, man, uh, <laughs> that. I ain't gonna lie, that actually like shocked me. I was all the way upstairs. All of a sudden, I check. It's like I'm I'm just scrolling through it, Twitter and stuff like that, just checking, seeing any trades and all this other stuff. And all of a sudden, it's like Sammy Watkins is going to Baltimore, and I'm like, what? I mean, Sammy Watkins going to Baltimore? I didn't expect that to happen. So it just it blew me. I had to come down here immediately as soon as I saw that. I was like, gotta talk about it. But yeah, um, Sammy Watkins is gonna be a great addition to this team. Obviously, the concerns of his health is, you know, something that's going to be there because he has, he, he, I think he's only had one season where he's been there for all 16 games. I don't even know. No, maybe I think that the most he stayed was like 15 games in a season. I think that was like 2014. So like, he's been a guy that misses a couple games due to injuries or something like that. So, you know, a guy with an injury history isn't great, but it's not like he's been consistently missing it, like missing it to the point where he's missing like seven, eight, nine games. I don't think it's like that bad. I didn't really last year, but like he should be fine. Um, he's he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. He's going to be a, a great weapon for Lamar Jackson to use. As long as he can stay healthy, he's going to be productive in this offense. And we'll just see what the Ravens go from here. 
if they do make that trade and pick up a receiver, then I think they're going to start looking really nice. And at this point, Ravens flock can really calm down regarding the receiving, receiving situation in Baltimore. Because like earlier, they tweeted out, somebody tweeted out all the receivers that are on our, our team right now. And I just saw depression, complete depression and pain from the Ravens flock. And now that Sammy's here, there's just a little bit more, you know, optimism and happiness. But again, I still don't think they're done. I still think they're looking to trade for a receiver and they're going to use this whole Orlando Brown deal to potentially get a receiver. We'll see what happens with that. If they choose to trade Orlando Brown, I see a receiver coming alongside him. If not, uh, they probably won't, you know, probably won't trade for another receiver and they'll just pick one up in the draft. Either way, I still think they're going to pick one up in the draft. But, you know, if they don't get another receiver, at least they got Sammy. So that's good for that. But, um... Yeah, other than that, I, I expect in terms of receive, in terms of signing receivers, that one's pretty much done for them. I don't see them signing um, AB, so they're done with that. Now their focus is going to be on the pass rush. And I, think, I think that's what they're going to be looking. They're going to be looking towards the pass rush and see what they can do with that. And yeah, that will probably be the rest of free agency for them. Focusing on the pass rush. Maybe if they get a good deal on the trade for an offensive lineman, they'll go through that. But again, if they if this is where the receiving talk ends in terms of free agency, hey, at least you picked up one. You can draft another. We'll just go from there. We'll see what happens. But yeah, with that being said, that is all I got. Jeez, they got me down here running. I didn't even have time to put on my jersey. I was about to put it on, but I was like, you know what? Nah, we got to talk now. I'm not about to let y'all wait for me to put this on. But yeah, it is what it is. That is all I got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.